This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello guys, welcome to the new tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be creating a motion sensor that similar uh, the one that you can find in the Phasmophobia. So here is what we're going to achieve today. So when we begin overlap with our sensor, it's going to turn on light, play the sound and say sensor activated in the top left corner. And when we end overlap, it's going to say sensor deactivated. So this can work for anything that uh, triggers your motion sensor, like some AI or something. So yeah, uh, it's pretty simple to do so and enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so let's create it. So I prepared here a sensor model for myself. And if you are on my Patreon, you can download it there. And if not, you can use any uh, model that you like, of course. Okay, so let's create the sensor. First thing, we're going to create blueprint class and create actor. It's going to be BP sensor. And I can create a new folder for it. Just like that. And in BP sensor, we're going to get our static mesh. Call it sensor. And select our sensor, uh, which it's named Cessnor in my case, because I had some misspelling, doesn't matter. So as you can see, we have um, this element 1, that is like sensor uh, light, but we want another light as well. So we want to add a spotlight. Or like in Phasmophobia, we can add point light as well. Let's add point light, actually. So, we don't want it to be this huge, this radius, just want it to be like that. So if I go and put it inside of my world, you can see the set sensor is going to give us some light. And to make this even better, I'm just gonna quickly I'll put some lights as well here. So you can see what's happening. And we can um, we can make this uh, bigger, right? You can fit your needs here. But this is how usually sensor works, right? He just uh, opens the light around itself. So if we deleted this one, this would be our sensor. Okay. So... Uh, we need to set this light sensor light to be default not visible. So by default it's not visible. It will be visible only when we interact. Okay. Uh, also, I'm gonna do just something real quick. You don't have to do this, but um, I'm gonna do the post process and I will quickly just fix my exposure because really bothers me okay so we have the sensor here uh, by default I'm gonna make a sensor a little bit smaller because I think the sensor is too big uh, let me just see how big it is right now yeah that looks good um, let me just <coughs> adjust it a little bit. Nice, that's perfect. Okay, so right now we will go into the sensor and we need to show this light when we interact with the sensor. And how are we going to do that? It's very simple. We're going to add collision, uh, in this case box collision. And you can always adjust this collision, right? Uh, just a second. So make sure you select default scene root and add box collision. And um, for some reason I'm not seeing it here. Maybe it's the new version. I'm, we are on Unreal Engine uh, 5.3. Uh, oh, it's there. Uh, now we can just fit our needs here, really. So how much you want uh, this to be um, 
uh, long. You can obviously set it ho however you like, right? To fit your needs. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger here. Like this. Um, so yeah, uh, if we select this uh, box collision, we can uh, select our collision uh, presets and we're just gonna uh, overlap only pawn and on component begin overlap so on component begin overlap right here if you pr press plus you can set sensor light to be visible and to prove it works we can just print string and it says uh, sensor activate and on and overlap that we also can found so click the box collision and and overlap we will do the same so we can copy but the new visibility is going to be off because we are ending overlap Um, let's see what happens here now. As you can see, once we interact, we can also turn off the shadows if that bothers you. So go to the sensor light and cast shadow to be off. And as you can see, um, in Phasmo, I think this uh, box collision is a little bit more fat. So let's make it a little bit fatter like this. So it doesn't turn off instantly. So as you can see, when we begin overlap, it says sensor activated. And when we end, it says sensor deactivated. So as you can see, it works. You can also add any sound on this uh, impact. Uh, you would just uh, play sound at location and you would get a sensor mesh, get after location or get world location rather. And you would just pull it there and we can set this sound. So now it will play sound on this location. So that works. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.